What's going on guys? Mark Mill here. Just want to talk to you about a little something I've been playing with here and now. Um, as you know, I have a YouTube channel that has just been mainly videos of me shooting guns. Well, I think it's time that I kind of come out, and, you know, show you what I'm shooting, talk about what I'm shooting, how I'm shooting it, what I use to, to work on them or clean them and, and how I like to make them my way. So here we are. We're going to start off with one of my favorite little toys. It's the cheapest one of the bunch, but man, you want to talk about fun for a little bit amount of money? This was it. This is the Heritage Rough Rider 22LR single action only. I mean, take a look at this. It comes with the optic mount on it already, so you just have to throw a nice little red dot on there. And I decided to take it a little further because it had a threaded barrel. So I was thinking, wow, it's got a threaded barrel. I have to have this because I can put a compensator on it. But I didn't just grab a 22 compensator and call it a day there. For What I decided to do was I grabbed a 5.56 compensator because it looked really cool. It gave me that competition look vibe like I do on some of my other guns that we'll kind of go over later on. Uh, this is from Timber Creek, as you can see. Timber Creek makes a very nice compensator very clean very neat it's even got like little heart shapes in it i guess so that's kind of neat i guess if you're making a gun for your girlfriend but this is for me i still like it, it shoots really cool um there's gonna be some video inputted in after this that you're gonna see of it shooting i did test shoot this with the 22 and i used all kinds of high velocity low velocity kind of see how the compensator would actually react and i will tell you this to my surprise, it reacted really well. Flatters faster, right? Well, it's 22. It can't can't shoot that hard, right? But it it made it flatter. So I was like, holy cow, this is kind of cool. All the gas is exploding out. It actually looked very neat. It worked considerably considering what it is. And it also adds weight. So it allows the front end to stay down when you're firing it. Um, other than that, it's been a flawless gun, you know, with the little add-ons, you know, the fiber optic sight in the front that's very neat if you run the iron sights which it'll allow you to do inside the actual rail right here has a little peep sight right in there so you can actually see that it was dropping it down so either which way i just wanted to kind of go over it talk about it you know i thought this was a neat little gun they're very inexpensive um, it allows to have everybody fun you know the kids the wife you know grandma whatever you think this gun is fun. It's super accurate in its iron sights, you know, configuration, but with the optic, just makes it that much more fun going out at 50 yards or more if you really if you really got the skill. And I'm gonna show you that in the video of what it does at 50 yards and you know how it reacts with the compensator. And it's just a blast. It's a good gun, super reliable, parts are super cheap. You can go on Heritage, you know, the Rough Rider website and you can get every replacement part you can get a 22 magnum cylinder a spare cylinder super easy to replace i mean that makes it really nice all the parts the frame the trigger every part here is replaceable and it's very inexpensive you don't have to spend much money to even repair any of these parts you can almost replace every single part except for the barrel for little to no money i mean super awesome i mean for somebody who's just trying to have fun you know this this is a fun gun and that's what it's all about right it's easy to go through it's got a safety right here you'll see right there this little lever right here safety now there's no safety soon right here so if i flip this up it rolls like a little cantilever thing right there so then when you pull the trigger it just sits on there just flat it doesn't actually touch the firing pin you have to do this to actually get it to touch the firing pin no big deal it's super nice super easy easy and friendly for kids um, loading it is just as easy as any other revolver, um, single action revolver. You just half cock it back. Once you have it half cocked back, you just one, two, three, four, five, six. Throw some rounds in there, close it up, cock it all the way, commence firing. So it's a neat gun. Just kind of want to go over it. I want to start going over a lot of my guns that I have, a lot of uh, guns that I've been working on and playing with. I've worked on my triggers. I have 2011s, CZs, things like that. Then I think it's just time to kind of go over the guns, you know, show everybody what I'm shooting with in the competitions that you guys see the videos in. And, uh, you know, kind of have some fun with it and show people, you know, 
budget optics or non-budget optics. I have all kinds of optics. So I'm gonna start going over all those things. You know, some people can, uh, you guys can get a great insight on what's out there for you to shoot or, you know, you don't have to have a million dollars to have fun with guns. Um, they're just always fun to have and why not have something? fun like this it's a great christmas present by the way it is the season so if you're going to get someone a christmas present get dad or or the old wife something fun to shoot this will do it right here flat as heck you can upgrade them you know to the gills for no reason why not right so thank you guys for coming on in you know here it is again heritage rough rider with the timber creek compensator and there's going to be some video roll that's going to be after this video for you guys to see how great it shoots and actually how the compensator works, which is very unique. Thank you. See you next time.